Good day Milana Robbins, it's me Beth and today I can finally get my dream festival lineup courtesy of Festify. Now this pretty much takes your Spotify listening history and creates your free ideal festival lineups based on what you've listened to. This is going to be a pretty interesting video but you know enough rambling before we begin. If you want to support me and the channel you can by clicking like to show me some love, click subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel. Yeah, let's just dive straight into Festify. can see the options are one month, six months and all time. Now I'm going to be frank with you guys, I'm really interested about the last six months one because on a monthly basis I listen to some of the same bands but recently I you know switched bands out you know in rotation so I can pretty much tell you off the bat what's going to be in the monthly one. The six months I should be able to tell you if I can just remember my last six months all time listening history. I believe I created this Spotify account 2014, 2015, so, you know, a good four or five years ago. You know, let's just dive right in. Oh, I can't wait. Let's see what my dream festival is. We'll start with a month. Let's see. Okay, Beth Robinson's Volcano Jam 2019. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at this lineup and I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. Headliner is Camelot. That's because I saw them in March so I did a lot of listening to Camelot. In Flames I saw them at the start of April, really like the new album. Poets of the Fall, I've recently you know got back into them and I've just bought tickets to go see them on tour this year so listening to a lot of them. Ice Nine Kills, I am still listening to The Silver Scream. Enemy Inside, they are a great new band that I discovered and I highly recommend you go check them out. I have reacted to their song Phoenix on this channel. Visions of Atlantis, they open for Camelot. I'm also a really big, you know, power symphonic metal fan. Avantasia, Avantasia, again, power metal. Cyrenia, symphonic metal. Muse, never go wrong with them. Steps, okay, the reason Steps made it onto this because I've been putting some songs onto my like certain playlist. So I think it's like Tragedy, 5, 6, 7, 8 and Chain Reaction. I could listen to those songs on repeat. Hollywood and Dead, staple of my music collection. Beyond the Black, love them, seeing them this year, so they've been getting a few listens. Amaranth, Amaranth, however you want to say it. Yeah, Delane, that should be a no brainer on this channel. Queen, because I've recently re watched the Bohemian Rhapsody, so yes, and Lordy, because you can never go wrong with some Lordy, so yeah. I am not really you know, phased by this. This would be an amazing lineup. Out of all these bands, I would highly recommend, like I've already said, check out Enemy Inside, Visions of Atlantis, and Beyond the Black. Some great listens. Let's just move on to my six months. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have different headliners. Amaranth, or Amaranth, however you want to pronounce it, they are my headliners. It's because they released like a album to probably towards like the end of last year. I did a lot of listening. Hollywood Undead. Well, like I said, they're a staple. They're one of my all time favorite bands. Escape the Fate. I saw them. Was that February? January or February is when I saw Escape the Fate. I really want to say February, but I could be wrong. Hey ho! I reviewed the tour on this channel. You know, go check out the video and tell me if I'm wrong. Camelot's up there, great band, Queen, In Flames, The Usual Suspects, we've got Steps, Visions of Atlantis, Ice Nine Kills, Delane, Enemy Inside, Beyond the Black, Poets of the Fall, Architects, I am, you know, still obsessed with their album, Him, because, well, everyone's got to have a bit of him on a playlist, Muse, love them, Bring Me the Horizon are interesting, I think it's because I've been listening to some of their older stuff, not a big fan of their new release, but, yeah. Enter Shikari, I saw them live for the third time this year, yes, three times, two times headline and one time they were opening, Avantage is on there, The Amity Affliction, oh my god, one of my favourite Australian bands, go check them out, Avatar, yeah, I love me some Avatar, The Rasmus, I am seeing them again this year on tour, the band I can never pronounce, Dimu Burgar, Someone tried to tell me to pronounce it as Demon Burger, so I'm going to say that. 
and crown the empire because okay i'm not a big fan of retrograde or retrograde that album but anything before then great crown the empire and that was my forest fest 2019 yeah i would listen to them in a forest moving on to the final one my all-time listening history i am nervous let's see what i was listening to like four or five years ago my unholy space tour okay headliner hollywood and dead i'd be really upset if they weren't in it delane yes camelot yes then you've got crown the empire apocalyptica Ooh, that's interesting then again i'm obsessed with bittersweet beyond the black the ones in bold and towards the top are the ones you listen to the most and then the smaller ones not so much amaranth amaranth the rasmus him Muse, The Amity Affliction, Broom the Horizon, we've got Avatar, While She Sleeps, Scarlet Riot, Great British Band, Lacuna Coil, Little Mix. I think Little Mix are the only non-rock metal band to make it on, and that's because guilt, uh, my guilty pleasure listen is Little Mix. I listen to their songs so much on Spotify. Avantage's on there, Within Temptation, Escape the Fate, Sumo Psycho, another great band I highly recommend you go check out, Lordy. The Script and Linkin Park, R.I.P. Chester. I Again, I am not phased by like this because, yeah, let's see. I've seen Hollywood and Dead live, Delane live, Camelot live. I'm seeing Beyond the Black, I've seen the Rasmus live, I've seen him live, I've seen Muse, I've seen the Amity Affliction, I've seen Bring Me the Horizon, uh, Avatar I've seen live, While She Sleeps, Scarlet Riot, Lacuna Coil I'm seeing this year. Haven't seen Avantasia. Within Temptation, they're on my wish list. Escape the Fate, I've seen. Sumo Psycho, I've seen. Lordy, I've actually seen. The Script, I've seen. And I haven't got to see Linkin Park live. So pretty much majority of these bands I've seen live at some point in the last four to five years, which is probably why they got a lot of listens. Because when I go to a gig, I like to listen to a lot of the bands and like back catalogue. But yeah, this is hopefully this has opened your eyes, you know, to some of my music tastes. And... I would love, you know, to see, you know, what festival lineup you guys get. In the comments below, I'd love to hear, you know, which was your favourite out of the three, or even better, tell me your dream festival lineup. I'll leave a link to, you know, Festify in the description box below so you guys can go and do this yourself. I highly recommend you do because I learned something about my Spotify, you know, listening history. Let's just wrap up this video. If you want to support me and the channel, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click the box down here to subscribe to the channel because, well, nothing's stopping you. I do try and upload weekly. You can check out my last two videos or playlists right here, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. Keep listening to good music. I'm Beth. Goodbye.